Welcome to Rent and Arb Studios Comics Show. I'm Gary Brandner of Rent and Arb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about the comics I've read, what I liked about them, and uh, where you can get them. I like to start these out with Kickstarter comics and what you should back on Kickstarter right now. So I'm going to start with Le Fay, number two, is on Kickstarter right now. Um, it has nine days to go, so you better get on that in nine days or you're going to miss out. But here's why you shouldn't miss out. It is about what if uh, Jessica Jones was a fairy and she had she was a private in, she's a private investigator uh, Morgan Le Fay and uh, this is the story about uh, her being indentured to the people who freed her from uh, centuries long um, slumber or hibernation that's something uh, basically she was put to sleep for a century and awakened by these other people uh, council and uh, she so she's indentured to them has to uh, do some private investigating regular stuff it's a pretty good story I like how she interacts with people uh, she's she's kind of uh, standoffish sometimes and it's basically Jessica Jones as a fairy but without the wings because Merlin ripped them off of Merlin ripped them off of her and uh, but yes the art is amazing the story is amazing uh, it is adult themed it's not meant for kids and uh, yeah very good stuff and you should check it out Morgan Le Fay number two Le Fay number two on uh, Kickstarter for nine days check it out get in on that next up on Kickstarter is a comic called Sure, of course it has to update while I'm doing a thing. Okay, Adept. Adept is on Kickstarter right now. It is by one of my favorite writers, Charlie Stickney, who did White Ash and The Game. And uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of The White Ash. It's an awesome story, great art. So, Adept is a young woman with a broken past, the Shaolin master who visits her dreams, and a modern story of transformation and kung fu. So if all of those things sound good to you, which it does to me, that's why I backed it, get in on that. It has 14 days to go. Um, the art looks amazing, as you can see from that little picture there. Um, the coloring looks amazing, the art looks amazing, and it's Charlie Stickney's one of the creators on it, so I know the writing will be good. And, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of uh, the Iron Fist storylines or Kung Fu Panda, I, I suggest getting in on this. I haven't read it myself yet, but uh, I can't wait to. Next up on my Kickstarters is, ooh, this is a good one, The Duplicant, which has, this is The, the Duplicant 3, and uh, it has nine days to go as well, same as Le Fay. And it's funny that the duplicate came up because that's what I'm reviewing today is uh, my reading of the duplicate. So the duplicate is about a future where there was a pandemic, kind of like what we're going through now, and it's killing people. It eats their organs and all that. And uh, this doctor scientist, um, as he's working on a cure for it, he discovers a way to uh, make duplicate organs transplants that uh, can go into the people that get sick and rather than them die of this like if it eats their lungs he can make them new lungs and uh, they can go on about their lives but then um, people can bid on them after that so so they pay their bill the hospital bills and um, they pay their bills and then they end up uh, a slave to the people who paid their bills and there are not laws in place in this future that uh, protect you from the people that buy your bill. So you're kind of on whatever they require of you. And so that's what this is about, is uh, one one victim uh, of her lungs uh, being eaten. She's about to pass the bar exam, and she ends up a slave to this guy who uh, 
he's he's just a horrible person and ends up using her in a bad way and so she she goes to talk to the scientist and tells him to fix things and she dies right there in his arms and because the people that own the system uh they killed her using the 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 nanobites that killed her in the first place so yeah check out this book um i i should have saved that for the review but yes this is on kickstarter for 14 no for nine days so check out the duplicant on kickstarter right now nine days to go on that one and here is another nice one uh maybe someday which has 45 days to go Ooh, it's got a little while on it but maybe someday it's an anthology many different artists many different writers uh all with they they get a theme and they write stories about that theme and submit them to this it is going to be it's going to be over 100 pages i'm sure where's the pages quantities anyway yeah 25 whole stories about inspiring uh stories that deal with hope and promise and uh maybe someday as the title um says uh it is a sequel to all we ever wanted which i didn't back on kickstarter but i because i couldn't at the time but uh when it, this came around it offers the uh chance to get all we ever wanted and maybe someday and so i opted for that one i'm getting all we ever wanted and maybe someday together in one kickstart so yeah a lot of good artists in this plenty 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 of good stories and good art to look at oh man look at that see that is an amazing picture right there um very kirby-esque in it very colorful and so many reasons to back if you go to the kickstarter there is just countless artists and writer teams that you can check out and uh it'll tell you who's working on it 25 different stories from art 25 writers 25 artists good stuff um 45 days to go on that so you've got some time on that but i i don't suggest you wait i suggest you get in on that while you can make sure you don't miss out like i missed out the first time around okay next up on my list miss catonic high number seven as you know i am a fan of the miss catonic high i like those kids going to school and uh dealing with uh their different monsters and uh powers and things I love the artwork on that. Uh, Ryan Mendoza does an amazing job on that. Uh, it's very uh, Archie Riverdale bubblegum pop kind of art to it, and it. I love the use of colors in that. How uh, there are pinks and light blues, neon greens, just awesome stuff coming in, and. Uh, yeah, uh, I can't wait to see what goes on with that gang of high schoolers. And that brings us to a wrap on the Kickstarters for today. As you know, my Kickstarter wrapped, and uh, I've got all the surveys back on my pins. And I can't wait to uh, be able to start sending those out. I, I kind of uh, absentmindedly forgot to uh, get some bubble wrap because I... I have it all set up to where I was going to mail them out in Gemini mailers with the comics, but not everybody chose to get the comics, so I have to get in on that. These are uh, these are good pins to uh, you could put one in your mask, as that everyone knows you should be wearing your mask when you're going out in public. This is the mask I wear. I'm a Spider-Man fan, as you can tell. My daughter made this one for me, so this is what I wear to work. And when I go to Plasma. And let's see here. What else? <clears throat> oh, yeah. And these are the mini comics that uh, I am giving out as the uh, stretch goal. This is this is my first issue. It is about the size of your uh, bank card, your Visa card. But it is my comic book. See? All that fun stuff. Hey, look, there's my family. 
And yeah, it is page for page the exact same as my first issue. It's just very tiny. Hmm. Okay. And it fits inside a little baseball card holder. So those are going to be mailed out to everybody who backed my Rent Arb Studios pins. So that's that's pretty cool. I can't wait to send these out to people. And uh, now it's time to tell you what I got in the mailbox this week. Rent Arb Studios mailbox. And um, all right. Oh, sorry. Just got something in my eye. Um, so I just got in the mail today. Super Scouts 1 and 2. Yeah, I can't wait to read these. Um, they are about... Kind of like if the Power Rangers found out they're real. Kind of a Galaxy Quest kind of storyline, like the Tim Allen movie. So yeah, these people dressed up for a TV show. And uh, one day they find out from the leader that it wasn't a TV show. That it's based on actual alien invasions and that they need to help him. So that got, came into mail to, to me from uh, Kickstarter. I also got Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer 3 and 4. Uh, I missed... I didn't... don't remember seeing the Kickstarter on these guys. So I reached out to uh, David Crownson, I think is his name. I reached out to uh, Crownson and I uh, found him on Twitter and uh, said, hey, I missed out on the Kickstarter for these. Is there any way I can uh, order those? And sure enough, he gave me a link to his store and I got Harriet Tubman 3 and 4 to add to my read pile, which uh, right now uh, you should be supporting black creators right now. Um, it's a very good story about Har obviously Harriet Tubman. It's very uh, black history, and uh, yeah, it, I'm a I'm a big fan of vampire stories, and so Harriet Tubman is a de not really just a demon slayer, but she's a vampire slayer, and uh, this is the story of her uh, going up against um, vampires in the South and helping slaves. Um, escape from their plantations and getting them to safety to be able to start a new life and vampires are a big key in those plantation owners and uh, so it's it was written very well the art is amazing um, very reminiscent of uh, spider Gwen if you're a fan of the art on spider Gwen it's right up that alley uh, I definitely recommend checking that one out I liked reading um, issues one and two Next up on what I got in the mail is I Roved Out. I Roved Out is not for kids, but look at this guy. It's a, it's a big hard book. Tons and tons of pages. It is bigger than a comic book for sure. And yeah, it's some good stuff. I don't even know if there's any safe pages I can show you. Let me see. Oh yeah, definitely. She's definitely not that page. All right, here's a safe page I can show you. The art is uh, all done digitally, but it looks watercolorish and uh, very good stuff. I I found this online. I uh, read the stories that way, and uh, I'm hooked. Um, as you know, I'm like a fan of the stuff like um, Sunstone. I'm, I'm a fan of Sunstone. This is right up that alley with Sunstone. Uh, the stories aren't as heartfelt. They're more goofy. Just complete mayhem and craziness going on all around. And um, yeah, these even came with uh, a bookmark and stickers, which I am a huge fan of stickers. I put them on everything I own. My laptop, this is a journal, a three ring binder that I uh, filled up with stickers. So yeah, these are going to be going on laptops, stickers, my wallet, whatever. Whatever I can put them on. So I roved out. 
by uh, Ira of Doubt is by Alexis Flower. I found him on or her actually I don't know. I found Alexis Flower on Twitter and uh, on Free Comic Book Day. Um, Alexis Flower sh shared uh, links to read the story, so I got hooked on that while I was doing Plasma. And uh, he shared a tweet a while ago about um, damaged copies, which, if that's a damaged copy, I don't know what's wrong with it, but it was at a discount, so I, I jumped on that as quick as I could. And uh, there's a second volume out. Oh, shoot. Actually, that is volume two. I need to get volume one. So, whoops. I need to get volume one now. Um, that's volume two. But that's how it is. Um, things like that happen. So I need to get me volume one from Alexis Flower. I'll have to be checking that out. I could have swore I ordered number... But who knows? I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Now, on to the reviews. Whew. Today, on Rentnar Studios Comics Reviews, I am going to talk about The Duplicant, which, as you know, it has nine days to go on its Kickstarter. So if you like this review I'm going to give you, then jump in on that one and uh, get in on that. So it's got great artwork in it. The Duplicant. Whoop. That was... Where did that go? That was a bookmark that came with it. <laughs> Don't know how to pick things up. Okay. The duplicate right here. Who owns your organs? The duplicate. Okay. That's a cool bookmark. The duplicate is written by Carla Nappi, Mariana Strychowski, Strychowska, Strychowska. Carlos M. Mangual and Josh Reed are the letters. Sorry, let me start over. Carla Nappi, writer and creator. Mariana Strychowska is on the art. Carlos M. Mangual and Josh Reed are letters and production. Leila De Luca is the line work. Owen Genie is colors and cover art and special thanks to well I will not read the special thanks anyways the duplicate so the duplicate deals with the pandemic and same thing we're going through right now people were need to wear masks they're getting sick and uh, people are getting sick people don't trust them even the ones that get uh, new organs they don't people don't want to be around them because they think if they had it once we can still get sick they get sold off to pay their bills as slaves and then um, there are there are pickets and uh, protesters going on all that all the stuff that we're dealing with right now so it's a, it's really really strange to be reading it right now but uh, I do recommend reading this. Got my name on the thank you page. Uh, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but somewhere in there it says Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics. That is a big thank you page. A lot of people back this guy. Meaning this comic. Anyway, um, yes, it was a good story. Um, I think this was called issue one and two put together as one trade. Um, but I've got number three coming now that I'm back in the next one. So I can't wait to read that. It looks great. They did a great job on the art. Great job on the story. Very well told. Check out The Duplicate right now on Kickstarter. And you can get this issue and the third issue, the next issue, together in one backing. So you get in on that one and check that out. Next up on my... Um, Reviews is The Darkest Lie by Gina Showalter. This is not a comic book, but I am a huge fan of Gina Showalter. Um, and uh, The Darkest Lie, her stories are about um, these lords of the underworld. Uh, they're all, each 
these different warriors from very, very ancient times, like uh, the Titans and, Tar and Tartarus, and uh, they were basically the people that captured uh, bad people and threw them into Tart Tartarus, and, uh, you know, like Hercules times, Zeus times, and so these guys are the ones who opened Pandora's box, and each one of them was given a different demon, and it went inside them, and uh, it makes them do different things, gives them different powers. The Darkest Lie is about the keeper of the Demon of Lies. And so, this poor guy Gideon, uh, he he can't even speak unless it's a lie. Uh, so, he meets the he meets a woman, they capture a woman, and uh, she claims to be his wife, and he has no memory at all of ever marrying her. And so, he uh, questions her about that, and uh, ends up busting her out of the dungeon to go and uh, question her privately, and they he ends up helping her, falling in love with her, and all that fun stuff, basic romance story stuff, but the way Gina Showalter tells the story, it's awesome. Obviously, um, I'm reading these out of order because uh, the book that comes next is actually the first book I ever read from Gina Showalter. I find these at, uh, at used bookstores, and so I don't ever get to read them in the order that they are written, but they still make sense. Uh, it's kind of fun to... It's, it reminds me of the old days when I used to collect comic books and uh, you would get Spider-Man issue 10 and then you would go read that and then go backwards and collect all the ones you missed before that. And so this is kind of reminiscent of when I was collecting comics, reading them that way. Uh, yeah, je check, check out uh, Gino Showalter's The Lords of the Underworld stories. Um, the, the Darkest Secret is the book that came comes after this one and I swear that that is the first one I read and yeah good stuff um so that's the end of uh Rent Art Studios comic show and do check out all the uh all the stuff I've mentioned today and go get those all that back them on Kickstarter all that fun stuff um and to any of you that are watching that backed me on Kickstarter to get the pins I am going to be working on those in the next few days, shipping those out. I will message you each uh, individually when your ship, when your package goes out, and maybe I'll, I'll even be able to throw in the uh, tracking ID. We'll see. Um, I hope it works that way. I I really don't know. Um, so that's the end of the Rent Arb Studios show. Um, oh yeah, I'm wearing an Invincible shirt. Uh, check out Invincible. That's one of my favorite comics. It is now over, but uh, I think there are over 25 volumes of it. It was it was such a good read. I loved it. And uh, yeah. Oh, what should you watch on on uh, Netflix and uh, Hulu? Um, I check. I recommend checking out Dead to Me. Dead to Me has uh, two seasons. It's on Netflix. And, uh, it's got, uh, James Marsden in it. And he's the guy that played Cyclops, and he was Prince Charming in the, uh, Enchanted. And, uh, he, he is such a funny guy. He was also on Hop. The only reason, really, to watch Hop is because he was so funny in it. Um, but yeah. It, Dead to Me is about, um, whoops. Dead to Me is about... Christina Applegate's character's husband is hit and run and dies, and she she goes to grief counseling, and she meets someone there that becomes her friend, and just oh, it, it's such a good show. Um, it's the language in it's not safe for to watch around kids, but it's a good show. Definitely check that out. Uh, I watched that a while ago with my wife, and she enjoyed watching it too. I think, and um. Let's see, what else is going on? Um, there is a funny show called The Floor is Lava that I watch with the kids. It's really stupid, but it's good to check your emails and stuff while you're watching that. It's not really too much involved where you need to pay attention to that. 
and then that Titan show that The Rock is making. That's that's pretty good. So that's about all I have for you today. You guys have a good day. Um, July is starting, so be safe. Wear your masks when you go shopping. And um, yeah, be safe. Take care of each other. Um, back projects. Let me know about projects. If you have a comic book that you should that you think I should know about, let me know about it. Um, I will share it on my social medias. Um, if you have any questions about the books I read or whatnot, ask me. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. Um, if you want to see a certain aspect of how I make my comic books, let me let me know what you want to see, and uh, I will work on that. I'm trying to get into um, making my comics better, more. Uh, just time. I'm still doing my full-time job and uh, doing plasma, and I'm around my family a lot more now that uh, that we're all stuck at home. So it's kind of harder for them because I'm the only. I get to leave to go and. Uh, work in food distribution and go do plasma but they don't really get to leave at all so they're I don't know that's how it is out there right now um be safe let me know about what I should check out talk to me I'll talk back to you on uh, Twitter and Instagram and YouTube not Instagram sorry I don't use Instagram Twitter and Facebook and YouTube uh Email me if you want at peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com and find my comic books. You can read them for free on indieplanet.com. Just uh, just Google search Rentnarb. And you'll find me anywhere that I am. Um, Rentnarb is not a very common word used, so I'm fortunate in that you can find Rentnarb easy that way. So thank you for watching Rentnarb Studios Comics. I'm Gary Brantner. And I'm out.